And so our Caribbean cruise became a reality. It's part of my bucket list to go on a Caribbean cruise. We've been on other cruises, but this is the first time on a cruise in the Caribbean, so I was really looking forward to it. So we jumped on a flight to Toronto, and in Toronto we flew down to San Juan, Puerto Rico. As we were approaching the island of Puerto Rico, we noticed the shore. Started to get quite excited about that. Flying over San Juan, there's our ship. What a surprise to see our ship as we're flying in. We got up onto the ship and took the elevator and noticed they're displaying the days of the week for you. And that is the view from our balcony. We had a nice balcony. Uh, first time we jumped into a balcony unit and we're very, very pleased that we did so. As we were leaving the port of San Juan, we cruised by Carnival's ship. It's all lit up. What a treat that was. It's quite impressive to uh, see it from the three sides all lit up. So the captain took us out to sea and we ended up the next morning in Charlotte Amalie, St. Thomas. It was uh, a busy day for us. We headed out to the island and we did our own thing on uh, these shore excursions this trip. And we decided to rent a taxi and have a tour of the island, which was very nice. Before that, we decided to walk through the shops, the touristy shops. So we rented this taxi along with uh, other people and he took us up to Megan's Bay and out to a very high point at this building where we were able to look out and see our ship over on the upper right hand side. You'll see the ship there and there's a pano of that view. Very nice. After the island tour we headed back to some more of the shops and wouldn't you know a toque in in the winter time even down in the Caribbean. These are pictures from our balcony and every evening Royal Caribbean gives us the itinerary and plans for the next day and there's another little animal from our cabin boy. So now we're going over to Bassett Tree on the island of St. Kitts. Very nice little town, very colorful. Welcome to St. Kitts. The little town of Bassetry is very cute. It uh, looks like a very safe town. Uh, we walked around the touristy areas at first and uh, didn't see anything we really liked to buy, but certainly there was a lot of people in the port because there was two ships docked. We decided to go a little further into town, uh, walk around where all the people who live there, and uh, as I say, it was very safe. So we headed back to the touristy area and uh, made our way back onto the ship. This guy is uh, on a scaffold down there and he cleans the, uh, the windows. It's kind of cool when you think uh, when they're at port, the people who serve us, they don't serve us because a lot of us are 
on the shore so they have other duties to do while they're in port and that's one of them is cleaning the ship maintaining it so here we're heading out to sea heading towards our next stop heading over to St. John's Antigua and there's some more little trees that our cabin boy leaves us little elephant so on Antigua we decided we're gonna go to the beach so we jumped on a, a taxi and headed out to the beach for the, the afternoon we certainly are not beach people but spending the afternoon on a beach as nice as that one was was a treat we rented a couple of lawn chairs and an umbrella got some shade I think it cost us 20 bucks pretty reasonable I suppose So after the day at the beach, we headed back, got on the ship, and waited for the horn to say that we were leaving. <laughs> so now it's time to go. Time to go over to St. Lucia, the little town of Cassatrice. As you can see, that little boat in the foreground has a Canadian flag on it. So we're heading out to sea. Uh, well, those guys didn't make it very far. As we're heading out to sea, you can see a fort back there. And many of the islands have forts that defended the uh, entry into the port cities. There's a, another fort. And our cabin boy left us a pig on our bed. And those are some burnt piggies right there. How cute. Now waking up the next morning in Casa Trees, we were greeted by that view. And that was from our balcony. Very nice. And just off the ship, we had these shops. And for this day, we thought we would go on another island tour. So we jumped in a cab with another couple and we had uh, James as our driver. And that's James right there, a very nice gentleman. He showed us, uh, I guess, the highlights on St. Lucia. St. Lucia is a mountainous island and we got some nice shots of the island. We also saw a little banana plantation. You can see a blue bag there. They protect the bananas while they're on a tree. This little bay was very nice. Very picturesque.
James made a bunch of stops along the way. We can take pictures or buy some drinks if we were thirsty. One of the highlights of St. Lucia are the Piton Mountains. The mountains from sea level, the highest one is just over 2,600 feet. Um, I believe they made a movie or two around this area. Very lush island, very beautiful. And we're back in one of the little towns, heading back towards the ship. And it's time to go, head off to sea again. As you can imagine, the ship is massive, so they give you these little markers every so often to tell you where you are. Certainly a good idea. One of the highlights of all the cruises is the entertainment, and Claire did a fantastic job of entertaining us. So from St. Lucia, we headed over to Bridgetown, Barbados, and that, unfortunately, was the view from our cabin, but oh well. And yes, I did go biking. Thanks to my wonderful wife for, I guess, allowing me to take a day out of our journey to go mountain biking. What a treat that was. I would contacted Randy, who you see here. He's the owner operator of Bike Caribbean. We spent four hours together touring Barbados in the rural area. Quite a flat, very beautiful place though. Uh, as I say, it's very flat. It's not like St. Lucia, where St. Lucia is very mountainous. Barbados is uh, relatively flat. We made quite a few stops along the way, and um, well, yeah, it certainly can speak for itself. As you can see, Randy is uh, being the gracious host and staying with me, talking to me along the way about the island. You get to a certain point uh, along the island, and you walk out to the ocean and you think you're at the end of the earth, but just how beautiful it really is. That really was a highlight of uh, my trip to, to meet Randy and have him drive me around, show me the, show me the uh, scenery, I suppose. Yeah, it's so beautiful. How, how true. So 
So heading back now towards uh, Randy's vehicle, we uh, stuck together for a little ways and then uh, I guess I got all tuckered out on, on him so he sprinted towards the finish line and we headed back to, uh, to the ship. He says the uh, island is uh, very touristy, as, as all the Caribbean islands are, and he says it's very safe there. One of uh, the highlights for me was to give Randy the cap I had bought, and uh, it was still new with a tag inside. I had just bought it for the trip, and he was uh, very uh, appreciative of uh, my, uh, my gift to him. And that is super cool, that little vehicle that moves the uh, container cars. It doesn't move that fast, I kind of sped it up. Anyway, that was Barbados. Jan and I walked around a little bit when I got back, and then we headed back onto the ship, just in time to leave. Time to head back to San Juan, Puerto Rico. The last day on the ship, we headed back. It was a day at sea, and uh, just time to reminisce of our trip, which was a really nice trip. We had a good time. <music> 